punch is in store for some islands and the Caribbean. St. Croix missed a hit by Hurricane Irma, but Maria is aiming right at the island. The U.S. Virgin Islands are under a hurricane watch. The governor of St. Croix says many of the island's hurricanes resources were sent to St. Thomas and St. John after Irma hit, but he vows to make sure St. Croix is prepared for Maria. Let's get the latest here on Hurricane Maria. Now look at the 8 a.m. advisory, 110 mile per hour winds, and that pressure has been dropping now to about 987. So this uh, storm, this hurricane, is quickly strengthening on its way on a west-northwest track at 12 miles per hour. Here's what you need to know as far as the intensity. Look at how it has strengthened over the past 24 hours from yesterday at 8 a.m. It was a tropical storm now getting close to major hurricane status with more strengthening anticipated. And the models are all in guidance that this is likely to become a major hurricane over the next 24 hours. So heads up here in the islands. Let's get a look at the track. And as far as the forecast goes, we're talking a landfall here potentially near Guadalupe and the Leeward Islands over the next 24 hours. And then we're going to watch it move towards the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. San Juan, you know, was a close call with Irma. This is going to be quite a different story here as we head into your Wednesday. D the Dominican Republic, we've got to keep a close watch on this. And then after that, the Turks and Caicos and the southeastern Bahamas as this heads off towards the uh, southern portion of the Atlantic. Now, as far as watches and warnings go, we do have hurricane warnings for Dominica and Martinique, Guadalupe and St. Kitts as well. And a hurricane watch now, Jen, for portions of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. All right, well, residents of South Florida are continuing to pick up the pieces out a week after a deadly Hurricane Irma made landfall. So coming up, we take you to the Keys for an update on the cleanup there.